Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this episode out here because this is a really good 3D example of how a ridge vent works. And you can see where it's cut out here at the top. And you've got the attic down below. And of course, uh, this plastic thing is the ridge vent, and this cap it with shingles. And you know, the way this is supposed to work is if you have a naturally aspirated attic, well then uh, the cooler air in theory is supposed to come up through your soft vents and exit out the top. Well, uh, the problem with my attic is, is that it's not sufficient. Uh, my attic is not, uh, will not ventilate uh, on its own. It's going to need help. And so that's why I put a solar powered fan up here. But the problem with that is you cannot have a ridge vent with a, with a powered attic fan. It'll just simply circulate the air at the top and will not draw it from the bottom ridge or from the bottom part of the soffit area. And so that's what I've done. If I'm coming up here and I'm removing this uh, all together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put zip tape. Uh, this is it right here. I'm gonna simply zip tape this a few times and then we'll shingle back over the ridge here. I, I almost contemplated foam sealing uh, from the bottom side, uh, but that would be kind of deceptive in a way if this house was to ever get sold in the future. Uh, they would think they would have a ridge vent here and it'd be sealed up, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it the right way. Just completely remove it and just shingle over the ridge part of this. And so if you have bought a house recently or if you've had a home and you just had insulation or uh, ventilation installed, uh, just know that right there, if you have a powered vent, it has to be in a place to where it's not near the ridge because uh, it'll just circulate the hot air at the top. Uh, this particular model here, it's a Remington. Uh, it's got a humidistat in it and so it'll work both off humidity and temperature and it's also got an electrical backup as well so on cloudy days it'll still run. I've only had this uh, in just a few hours uh, but I can tell you already I have pretty good faith in it. It's running now even with low sunlight and I predict it will probably do pretty well in the future too because it's really got good reviews and even after doing this I still may have to add a few more of these because the only way to know if you have uh, proper uh, ventilation in your attic is to monitor it and it has to be monitored over a period of time and the best way to do that is one of those wireless monitors you can get them off eBay, Amazon, Lowe's and Home Depot may have them and if you have attic temperatures that are uh, that stay 10 degrees uh, above the outside temperature, uh, that's when you should probably start considering uh, additional ventilation me measures for your attic too. Uh, but not only that, it needs to be ventilated in the winter time as well. And so in the winter time, this thing runs at slow speed in order to keep the humidity out of the attic, and that's uh, pre hopefully prevent mold from forming uh, on the wood structure down below. Uh, so hope this has been informative, guys, and thanks for watching.